All right, there's one topic in section 15.1 that you might think, hey, he skipped it. It's like, well, he didn't just skip it. I kind of saved it for section 15.3 because I think it fits a little better here. Um, it's the average value of a function. And you may recall from Calc 2 that we, we talked about the average value before. Here's, here's, a, um, here's a quick review of what we did. That back, in, back in the Calc 2 days, we, we were looking at a function, y equals f of x. And we said, what's the average value uh, of the function between a and b? Well, we're saying, essentially, you think of it as, you know, if you could take every single y value, add them all up, and divide by however many you just added up, well, you added up infinitely many things. Uh, at least that's the idea of the average value. We, we can approximate it by taking, you know, a finite number of y values and adding them up and dividing by whatever that number was. Um, and then take a limit as the number goes to infinity. And it turns out that that's equivalent to saying, calculate the whole area. So calculate the area. So that would be the integral from, whoops, from a to b of f of x dx. And then divide by the width. And the width is uh, a minus b. So you calculate the whole area and you say divide by the width, you're essentially saying what if I had a rectangle that had that same area, so let me kind of go like this. If I had a rectangle that had the same area as what is underneath the curve there, then this y value right here is going to be the average value. Okay. So the average value of the function is the integral divided by the length that you're integrating over. Well now what we're looking at is we're saying I've got some region in the plane and I've got some function uh, defined up here over that region. Right? Who knows what that function looks like, but um, I want to know what's the average value of that function. I want to take every single z value, add them all up, and divide by the number that I just added up. It's like, well, that's infinitely many. So again, you approximate and take the limit as the number goes to infinity. Um, but it boils down to that the average value is find this volume right, and divide by the area. Well, in section 15.1, they the area, they're just talking rectangles. So the, the area is real nice. It's, you know, if this is a rectangle down here, then you've got b minus a for one length and d minus c for the other length, and you multiply those together and you and you divide. So, so here the average value is you're taking the volume, so you're integrating this function uh, x y dA over the region D, and then you're dividing by the area. Now, um, how do you calculate the area of D? Well, I don't know, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Uh, actually, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit now, too, to section 15, 4 or 5, I don't remember. Um, uh, you calculate the area by a double integral as well, uh, in that, uh, so I'm integrating over d of the function. And if I do the double integral of 1 dA, that actually just calculates the area. We'll come back to this, but you know, if you think about some region here, and you just give it height 1 everywhere, right? everywhere you've got height 1, so you make a little cylinder essentially. Uh, the volume of the cylinder is the area of the base times the height. Well, if the height is 1, then numerically the volume and the and the and the area are the same. You know the unit is different because the the area would be in you know square inches where the volume is in cubic inches, but the number, the value, is the same. Um, so you can calculate area by by doing a double integral of one. Okay. So anyway, that's the notion of the average value. It shows up in fifteen one. Um, but it's a, it's a more general concept than just averaging over rectangles. You can average over the general region. Take the volume, divide by the area. That's the average height.